Hi everyone! Welcome to Artsonia's After School Art Club. Today we have a fun art project from Miss Fortner, an art teacher from Texas. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Artsonia gallery. Welcome artists of all ages, it's Miss Fortner from Benfer Elementary. Today you are going to be learning how to do weaving. This is a simple weave that I've created. All you need is paper and scissors. It helps if you have at least two different colors so that you can see the difference or the contrast in the colors. Uh, this is a very simple one I made, just straight lines. For those of you who like to be challenged as artists, I'm going to also show you how to do this one with really cool different designs in the weaving. We are gonna learn a few vocabulary terms that's gonna help you through your weaving. It's very simple to do and you can create these for all sorts of things like backgrounds for your paintings. You can put them in your sketchbook. You can actually um, take and mold these and turn them into things like baskets and lamps. This is a really cool project because you can use it for so many different things. I hope that you enjoy doing this today. To create your paper weaving today, the materials that you will need are a piece of paper, smaller sheets of paper, scissors, pencil, and a ruler. You're going to take your large piece of paper and fold it in half. Make the fold facing you and the opening at the top. Take your ruler and make a line at the top. You're going to take your scissors and cut straight up to that line. Cut very slowly so that you don't have any jagged areas on your paper. The next thing that you're going to do when you're done cutting is open it up. I like to fold it backwards and it creates this cool little, kind of reminds me of an x-ray. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to measure out strips if you like to be very logical and analytical like I am. I measured out my pieces of paper and then I drew lines down the paper. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. You also don't have to use a ruler. You can just use a straight piece of paper to make your lines nice and straight. You're going to take these strips and you're going to cut them so that you have plenty of pieces to work with. This weaving, I decided to work with three different colors. So my loom is dark pink, and then I've got yellow, light pink, and an orange. When you have all your pieces cut, you're going to take your loom and you've got all these little different pieces of paper that aren't completely cut off. These are called warps. So your warps are going to help you create your weaving. So the yellow piece of paper I have is called a weft and you're gonna start at the bottom and you're going to go under the first warp and over the second. So this is the pattern that you're going to be creating. So I went under, over, under, over, and now I'm going under, I'm going to go over, and then I'm going to go under, and then over again, and then under, and then the very last one, I'm going to go over that warp. I'm gonna take the weft and I'm gonna pull it really tight toward the bottom. Don't push too hard so that you don't make holes or rip your paper. You should have under, over, under, over. So in the first warp, my weft was under. So the next weft, I'm going to make it go over the first warp. So I'm gonna do the same pattern, except the other way around. So I'm going to go over, under, over this next one and under this one. I'm going over the next one and under the next one. And I'm going to continue that pattern. If it helps you to pull your wefts instead of pushing them like I am, you can do that also. If you like to get your fingers inside the warps to pull, you can do that too. Just be very careful that you're not ripping your paper. And then don't forget to take your weft and pull it down really tight so that it's going to create that basket weave effect. So we do have this checkerboard look. 
What you don't want to do in this case is you don't want to use a weft that's shorter than your loom. You also don't want to take a piece of paper and you don't want to start the next weft in the same direction. And you also don't want to skip going over warps. You want to make sure that you have every warp is over, under, over, under. So in this one, I went over, under, and the next one needs to be over my first warp. So your first warp also has to have a pattern to it. So make sure that you're not skipping any warps and your wefts at the very front on that first warp also have a pattern. When you're finished, it should have a checkerboard pattern look to it. And then at the top, we've got a little piece. If you need to cut your weft a little skinnier, you can to make it easier to fit in. Trim the sides and the little tabs on the sides, you're just going to take a little dot of glue and glue those down. You're going to do them one side and then on the other and then flip it and you're going to want to glue those little tabs also. This is a step you don't have to do. And there you have it. Challenge time! If you want to do a weaving that aren't straight lines, this is what you will do. Like the beginning, you're going to fold your paper in half. You're going to make sure that the fold is at your closest to you, or I say uh, towards your tummy. Draw the line at the top. And this time, you're going to want to cut not straight lines. You're going to do different designs, but make sure that the lines don't touch at the bottom and the lines don't touch at the top. You want a little bit of space in between each of your different cuts. So right there, I just did probably an inch space. You can make it smaller than that if you would like. If your lines happen to touch, you're going to get a hole in your loom and that's something that you don't want. In this loom, I decided to do a whole bunch of different designs, unlike the one that you saw in the introduction. So you can really do anything with this and it just looks so amazing. So when you're done, you're going to unfold it. I like to fold it backwards so we get that crease out, make it nice and flat. Now with my paper cutting my wefts, I'm not cutting them the same size. They are straight. You do want them to be straight, but they can be thick or thin. And in this one, I decided to choose orange, purple, and yellow. You don't have to do that many colors. You can do just one other color. And I am doing the same pattern over, under, over, under. If you decide to do this as your weaving challenge, the only thing that I suggest to you is that when you're taking your wefts and you're pulling them towards you, don't pull too quickly because sometimes it could rip on some of the cuts that you made in the warps. And you're doing the same pattern as you did for the simple weaving. top we have that tiny piece left and there you have it all the different weaves that you can make thanks for joining me today